Greetings, Scotty Gold here, back for part two. Um, now, uh, this time around, um, we will be demonstrating how to do a, uh, like, how to make the icon, um, using Photoshop, preferably. Uh, first, let's check up on the focuses like the ones that we made if there's any problems so let's go to Ireland um, now keep in mind uh, there is a chance that there could be an error in terms of it like sometimes if you do reload underscore fo well reload space focus in the command sometimes that doesn't work all the time so your best bet is to try and um, figure out the source of the problem. It can be a little tedious, which is why I'm going to do my very best to keep this as short as possible. Um, so once you load into Ireland, we will check. Now, you may still see a question mark, obviously, because we don't have an icon yet. So once we check on this, I will um, cut briefly and launch Photoshop. All right, let's see. Now, as you can clearly see, here it is the name and the description, and becomes owner and controller of Northern Ireland. So Let's say we test this out, but let's do this as quickly as possible. So use this command, um, focus.autocomplete. You do that, and look at that, a united Ireland. Now, uh, for the icon, uh, I will cut here for a sec, open up Photoshop, and um, yeah, I'll show you how to make a focus icon. Yeah, sometimes happens. The beeping noise. Um, this icon might be a little too big. That's that's the issue. You know, sometimes when you get like an icon, you know, you you gotta have aid from other stuff around you. So um, let's go for a basic shall we so let's drag this in as you can see uh, it is hang on for for focus then we get that size very quickly um, you don't really uh, have to pay attention to this part. It's just, uh, I mean, it's just a good way to work for me to organize, so no worries. All right, now that that's added, so let's create our icon. So get rid of the background here, set up your layers, zoom in if you must. All right, so let's say um, the icon that we're looking for maybe it should be like a green if that makes any sense you know because the emerald isle so let's look through our inventory here and i mean you can really choose anything you want just so long like uh make sure like it's centered it's like say if you want to use this one but the problem is, is that this piece right now is red. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can uh, try to put this in a separate tab, like uh, the .pst D right here. Sorry. So here's here's an idea. You drag this in, and I'll feature a link of my. Uh, resources down below in the description so what you're going to do is you're going to select the very last layer and that's like the reddish layer that's what gives that color 
but if you do something like if you go up to image adjustments black and white that's what happens but we want to add green that's why we did the black and white at first so we do color balance and you just do uh, I'm gonna go halfway here towards that hundred mark but I don't want to go that way either because that's like purple magenta type of thing so once you have that set you can do other options too you can do brightness and contrast which will make it look I don't want to say cleaner but it will look make it look more interesting so as you can clearly see if I redo it it's a little darker now the other stuff that you're going to need is these pieces, which will also be featured in uh, the link down below. Uh, it's in a GitHub thing. All you got to do is uh, go to the right where the green button is, and then you'll, you'll see where it says download zip or something. Um, quick little tip. So, Ireland, uh, we need to find the perfect icon for this and well by golly there it is so let's say we'll drag this in uh, resize it also you might want to remember the size because if you don't it may cause an issue so let's say it's 43 by 58 you can take a note of that too 43 by 58. That's just an example because, again, you want to make sure that, you know, the width and the height match because I see another one here without um, the stuff, like without that northern fragment. So, do the same thing for here. 43 by 50. Uh, eight. Let's see. Forty-three by fifty-eight. Here it is. So, do something like that. It kind of looks like it's sticking out, and that is an unfortunate thing. Sometimes it can, that can happen. But what you can do is go to the layer below it. Oh, that's too big of an eraser. You can go below it just do that you select the layer below this one otherwise it'll just do this yeah don't do that um, and then the layer below it we should actually color it in maybe red because it represents like kind of like this so then uh, yes you can do brightness and stuff preferably I'm doing it because it's uh, it's a little easier you can also actually you can also do another color balance if you want. There's a lot of different things you can do with this. So yeah, once you have that all set up, as you can see, the red marks where the annexation will commence, you know, because of the whole thing. Now, I don't know what pieces you could use. I mean, you can use virtually anything so long it has like a transparent background and blends on the edges. Because sometimes it can be sharp, but there are solutions to that. You can add, like, drop shadow if you like, which can also help, like, right here. Drop shadow is very handy. Um, I cannot express that enough. So I'm going to do that with this layer, too, see what happens. And there you have it. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll get rid of this one down here because the shadow looks a little imbalanced and there you go although you could um, shave off like in the background of the whole piece shave that off and then you can add it so that this way it looks more uh, consistent you know so once you have that um, it looks good it's coming along but let's say you want to add more stuff. So let's say, how about an arrow pointing at it, 
like signifying that you want that area or if you play as Ireland you would want to annex it so uh, you can use the arrows here of course um, okay so you can use these arrows of course watch for the layer stuff and here's another good idea too whenever you make an icon you could always have it like kind of like stick out makes it a little more interesting um, in general it's so like if you do this right it kind of does something like that but you want to be able to see the arrows so let's use black and white again and let's say we'll make them gold or something something like that like uh, something, something simple like that. And then if you look from afar, you'll see that it stands out more. What really helps it is drop shadow. But of course, watch how much drop shadow you use because you don't want to overpower the thing. And, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, there's so many more different ways on how to do this, but, yeah, that's basically how it works. So, uh, you can export it. And we'll just say, give back Belfast. Um, but, yeah. Um, actually, I'll save this so that this way it's uh, easier to follow along. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically how it works. You just Photoshop is a very convenient tool. And, like it's the usefulness of it is just amazing. So once you have that. We don't need this anymore. Now, back to the focus mod itself. Now, if you want to add a new icon, first you also need to add interface. Um, go to vanilla. Yeah, vanilla is a really useful thing too because you know you want to make sure that. You're doing this right and you really got to pay attention to where pathings go and stuff like that now uh before i uh what was it oh yeah it's goals right here so here's the goals this is where it usually comes in and uh when i continue um can be warned there is a chance like whenever you make an icon there's still always a chance it may not work even the gfx icon so if it doesn't work i do apologize but um you just gotta um keep at it as it goes on so where the id is up here Okay, let me drag this out actually. This is the previous text that I had up the whole time. So here's the ID. Uh, GFX focus give back Belfast or Belfast. Then you go to this padding here. So you go GFX and if it's not in there, make the folder. Or yeah, GFX interface goals and then that's where it'll be um so what you can do just do uh goal goal f give back belfast now remember that name and also it has to be in dot dds TGA could work too, but I prefer using um, DDS for these in particular. Whoops, I accidentally opened that. And uh, how is this? Thirteen. Okay. 
So you open this up. I have paint.net, um, which is free. You can download it. Uh, you just gotta look it up, that's all. Alright, so once you've opened this... Um, this is how I usually convert .pngs to .dds. So, what you're gonna do, you have the icon, as you see. Now, convert it. Boom. Boom. Now make sure the name matches with the .dds. And you should be good to go. Uh, I will try to load up the game. Hoping it'll work. But yeah, that's how it works. You put the interface in here. And you put the icon in there. And then you match the pathing. You're all set. And you already have the name and the description under here. And as well as the code itself. So... Yeah, um, I'll give you a quick demonstration in a sec, and that's how it works. Okay, um, now for the demonstration, um, after making that icon, hopefully it works. Yeah, I think that's a another issue. Must Yeah, don't worry about it. Anyway. Let's go to Ireland, see what happened. Uh, yeah, usually these load times take a bit, so um, I'm making a very complex video. Uh, just be patient. It'll work itself out. Now I'm hoping this will work. Yeah, there's the icon, but that I think I'm in debug mode. That's why the the dog icon comes up. It's really weird, but but it's right there. There you have it. So that about wraps it up. Um, I hope this is helpful. Um, if you want to see more uh, tutorials in the future, um, subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss any of my latest videos. Uh, leave a like if you um, wish, of course. Like, like, comment, and if you want to, leave a uh, comment. And have a good day.